So I think you said earlier that most of the screenplays that you've sold have been through prior working relationships where you mm-hmm. knew the person. But when you did go and pitch, because it sounds like you, you have done that, uh-huh. when someone said no, what did that no mean to you? Um, it meant that the project wasn't right for them at that time. You know, I, I think you have to be, you have to have a lot of confidence in your writing. First of all, to get to that level where you're able to pitch and they're willing to take a pitch from you, you're probably at a level where you know you're a pretty good writer. So you can't let that discourage you. Um, I mean, there are projects that we've pitched all over town that I still love and I still think are great projects and no one's bought them. And so it's just, it wasn't the right time for that. You can kind of obsess over that if you want, but the best thing to do is you just keep moving on, go to your next one, go to your next one. You can always come back and revisit something later. And a lot of times when you do revisit it, you start to see things about it that you didn't see before. Like, oh, I should have done this differently or knowing what I know now, I would do this because you're just more informed than you were before. So that's, to me, you just don't let it discourage you. That's the biggest take away from that. Did you always have that approach to it or was the first time, you know, sort of I think uh, I always had that approach. I, I think my attitude was always, and I think I've gotten softer as I've gotten older, but I think when I was younger, my attitude was always like, well, you know, if they don't like it, forget them, you know, <laughs> um, I'm moving on to the next person. Like if they don't get it, someone else will. So, um, but I think that is the right attitude to have. Um, and now I think, you know, I think that you can, you can internalize a lot of things as a writer. And I think writers tend to, um, we're always looking for like, Oh, what did I do wrong? What could I do better? What, you know, why isn't this working for me? And I think that if you just stay true to what you believe in, eventually you're going to find that audience that's going to connect to that and that producer, and maybe it's just the timing. Maybe you just haven't met them yet. But again, it goes to why networking is so important. Expanding that group of people and networking and finding the right people that you want to work with that who creatively align with you is really, really important. Yeah, and the interesting thing is, too, so many things change behind the scenes, whatever part of the industry that you're in, and you'll never know why. And you won't know, is it me? Is it what What was it? Did I say the wrong thing? Whatever. I tell actors this all the time. Um, from a director standpoint, when we do auditions and they, you know, they come into the room and they have five minutes to do their read, we know the moment they walk in if it's a no. And wow. I tell actors all the time, like, don't obsess over what you should have said differently or how you should have delivered a line. It's not even about that. They either we either connected you to that character or we didn't. Period. And it's sort of the same with writing. You know, you're gonna find people who you just at one point you're going to be the one this is the project someone loves this project it's what they want to do and they get it but there's gonna be lots of people who don't you know that's why there's lots of stuff on television that's why there's lots of movies playing at any given time you know it's there's not one thing for everybody so don't take no for an answer just keep moving i like that 